It is not obvious by day that Tehran is in the grip of an army the citizenry has learned to fear with good reason. There is a decreasing number of tanks and armored vehicles visible. Despite the temporary imposition of martial law, the Shah's new government appears determined to press ahead with liberal reforms. Opposition spokesmen getting a hearing in parliament is a new phenomenon. The government has decreed these debates be given full press coverage. It is from the mosques that opposition to the Shah is being led by puritanical Shiite Muslims, opposed to his efforts to liberalize and modernize the country. This is one example of what the Muslim religious leaders oppose, the westernization of women. The Koran, the Muslim Bible, casts women in an inferior role. The religious zealots want to return to the Constitution of 1906, which would ensure all legislation conforms with Islamic law. What has been happening here in Iran is the reverse of the experience of most other countries. A significant number of Iranians are up in arms against a more modern way of life. The Shah may yet lead Iran fully into the 20th century, but many of his people will only get there kicking and screaming. Jerry King, ABC News, Tehran.